Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here, a very good evening to you all. So we are back with the results of Guess Dan's Coin. There was actually two commemorative coins to guess in the previous video. We'll then see the updated leaderboard and then there will be two more coins to guess. So again, both commemorative 50p's, one there with 50 pence in lettering at the bottom. The other coin from the year 2020. We'll turn the coin over on the right first and it is indeed the Brexit 50p coin. Peace, prosperity and friendship with all nations. And the date there at the bottom, the 31st of January 2020. On the left hand side then, my favourite commemorative 50p coin and it's the WWF 50p with the iconic panda logo there in the middle. An absolute beautiful coin and again, that coin has got to get you excited when it comes down to commemoratives. So let's have a little look then and see what the updated leaderboard looks like. But before we do that, we need to see how many points people have scored today. Fish, Smithy, Allen, Terence all getting one correct. A huge shout out to you. Curtis McElroy got both of them correct along with Martin Dack and Ian Strudwick. Unbelievably, Dylan64 Gaming again has got them both correct. I was getting a little bit worried that he might have a camera in the Dan's Dollar Studio. Now I know that he must do. He must do. This guy is on a roll though. The overall leaderboard, Renetta's on two, Adam and Norman on three, Alan Jenkins on four with Smithy and Andy Vickers, Martin Dack, Ian Strudwick, Fish, Yellow, Lighthouse and Squirreling Coins all on five, Terence Days in third on six, Curtis McElroy, an amazing effort on seven, but Dylan 64 gaming, 10 out of 12. I was probably not very fair with the two alphabet coins. And when it comes to the 50p's, he's 100%. He's 10 out of 10, which again is truly incredible. So two more coins to guess then. I'm sure you might have seen these coins on the channel already. There is a little clue there. Hopefully scoring a few more people some points. Both of the commemoratives from 2017. Get those guesses in that comment section below. Again, you've got 48 hours to get those guesses in and I do believe that'll take us to Saturday evening. And on that night, we will see who is at the top of the leaderboard and who has scored at least one or two points. Again, an amazing effort from everyone, especially Dylan there. 10 points at the top. Will he be caught? Now, this leaderboard is just going to roll on throughout the whole year, actually. And there will be prizes at the end of the year for the top 10 places. So it definitely is worth playing along. I'm also sure that by the end of the year comes, Dylan64 Gaming will be on a couple of hundred points. But again, it has been really amazing anyone that's managed to get any of them correct so far. So again, get your guesses in that comment section below. Stay safe and as always, guys, thanks for watching.